In this video, we'll have a look on how to create a post request and this allows us to send a request body to the server. So let's see how it goes. Now, the most important request in our collection is a request that imaginarily sends an order, creates an order. And for that, I'm gonna simply open a new tab and I'm gonna use the following endpoint that is HTTP bin org slash post and gonna open up here this panel and select post and for a post request it's possible to submit a request body as well it is not possible for a get request but for post put patch and other kind of requests it's possible to submit a request body this request body allows us to send more information that we can send just by simply using the parameters, query parameters or path parameters and so on. And what we're gonna do is to send adjacent payload, adjacent body with some information. And for that, I'm gonna go to body and I will ignore anything that's here in between. I'm not gonna talk about them in this video. And I will select raw. And this allows us, it opens up a text field where we can input anything we want. But because what we're submitting has a specific format, We'll also select here from this drop down JSON. And this the editor will give me information if I mistype anything in my request. So now let's imagine that we are sending this request and there are multiple informations that we need to submit with it. So let's imagine that we need to send an order ID. And it will be two, three, four. Doesn't really matter. And let's imagine that we need to send a quantity and the quantity will be, I don't know, 20. And that we also need to say which product ID we want to order. Product will be 3000. Okay. Now this is the this represents the request body and it is in a JSON format and it's very important that the syntax here is right. For example, if I mistype something, you will get an error that something is not right. So it's important that everything here first looks good. So now let's send this request and it responds. You will be able to see here under the JSON part this information was actually interpreted as JSON and was understood because you will see here each and every key and value is properly organized and was understood by the server. So now let's modify a bit this request and just suppose that endpoint allows us to send a list of products and usually lists in JavaScript are represented as arrays. So let's say here that we have instead of just product ID and quantity, let's have products. And this will be an array and this is represented by these square brackets that you see here. And inside the array we can put individual values. And let's imagine so let's say the one of the value is indeed product ID and quantity. So I'm just gonna copy them from here. That looks good. And let's add another product that we are ordering. And this would be quantity 10 and the product ID is 2000. Actually don't need this here. So now instead of sending individual values, we are actually sending an array of objects and each object is a product that we are ordering. And the response will look different as well. And you'll see here that we have the order ID and we have an array of products. And that's about it. This is how you can submit post request with a JSON body in Postman, pretty simple. Now the assignment for this video is to add a new property to the request body called customer ID with a value 100. 
see you next time. Bye bye. And just click here to continue with the next video. And subscribe right here below.